Alpha Pool Eyes Block, the XPX Aurora Pro Plexi Digital RGB Water Block. And if that isn't big enough for you, well, I will tell you the water block itself is quite large. This particular water block that we have here, the Pro version, is designed to work with all of your uh, larger size chips, whether it be the Intel 2011, the 2066, or the uh, 3647 or the AMD Threadripper, uh, this water block is designed to work directly on it. Um, the water block itself is available in two different finishes. Uh, this particular one that I have in my hand is the chrome model, as you can see with the, the chrome edging and the chrome face on the inside, uh, but also available is a black version. Um, as you can see, it's a nice black edge all the way around it, and I, well, kind of neat part about that, I used my finger now, and you can see it kind of like scraping. Well, it's actually not scraping. It's because of the finish that's on the outside of the block. Uh, I just took my finger and kind of rubbed that right off. Um, so the finish on the outside of it is actually really, really strong and durable, um, as well as black finish on the inside. Uh, so that's honestly the, the two major differences between the two blocks, other than, you know, black and chrome. Um, but again, these blocks are designed to work with your Threadripper, your uh, Intel 2011, 2066, um, but all of that information is actually in the manual, uh, which is included in the box here. Uh, in the manual, you'll get uh, which which CPUs it works with, uh, how to properly clean the CPU before you actually install it, and which brackets that you're going to need when you do go to install it, and which ones are used for which chip. Um, that's just one of the many things included in the box here. Uh, also included is, well, the water block itself, uh, but also the, the mounting brackets, as I was just talking about, for the various chips. You have your AMD, and your two different Intels. But on top of that, you also have the, the screws and the springs to hold down the block itself, um, some thermal paste, and the RGB adapter cable. Uh, so the RGB that runs inside of these water blocks uh, have a proprietary end here um, that AlphaCool has included inside of it an adapter cable. Um, so if your motherboard does have the digital RGB uh, header on it. You can plug this in and plug this directly into the water block and then you would be using the signal from your motherboard to control the digital RGB in the water block itself. Uh, along with that you also have you'll notice at the end of the cable there's a there's a little bit of a Y split. Uh, so if you take this apart where I connect it, the feed end, that's your 5 volt digital RGB signal going into the water block. Uh, there's also this end here, which is just another lead out. So say you had either another water block or one of the digital RGB fittings or one of their cables, you could plug it directly in to the other water block and use the feed from the first water block to the second digital RGB signal, uh, which is actually pretty neat. Um, so if you don't want to buy uh, an external digital RGB controller, which is sold separately but available also from AlphaCool, you can use the cable that is included here, uh, the proprietary end, to the 5 volt end uh, to your motherboard. These water blocks here are readily available from AlphaCool and their many distributors and would be a great addition into any water cooling build.